We interrupt our programming to bring you the following special report. The Ryan Report. Whatever opinion they had ain't gonna change nothing I'm doing. What was the story he told? Because I, I was there. It's time for The Ryan Report. It's like Jay-Z, all eyes on us. On the People Station, V103. Sit down and relax. Enjoy the Ryan Report right here on the People Station, V103. And for a limited time, get two sausage, egg, and cheese McGriddles for only $3 at participating McDonald's. I'm loving it. They are bringing you this Ryan Report. Oh, the love is back, baby. Future and Drake are back together. They are. They are back together after all of the drama. Future says something, and then Drake is like, what? And then Future's like, well, I didn't. And then Drake's like, come on. And then together. And now Drake has released a statement. Right. Well, yes, he said. Fu- Future, oh, man, I'm sorry. Future's yes, released a statement. Future, and it goes, I am set to continue as planned with Drake and Miguel on a Would You Like a Tour. I'm looking forward to hitting the road this fall. Love for life, honest. And he tweeted in the ATL, getting ready for the first stop, Pittsburgh. So they made up. Now, you know, Drake is known for this. Okay. Drake is an emotional cat. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I know several situations where Drake, like in the very beginning, this like if you say something about Drake or he hears something, he's like this. Right. <laughs> <laughs> then, because he's from Canada, he thinks about it. He calls a relative. Okay. And then he's like this. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I know one person who Drake wanted to fight. This is a blind item. He wanted to. They were about to go to blows in Miami, and then two months go by, and they make up, and they said, and then Drake hugged me, and they said it was an awkward hug, like it was long, like he was really like hugging it out. It's crazy. In touch with his emotions. So. Future and Drake, good. I'm glad they worked it out. Me too. I am. Because they had said that Drake was sitting like Miguel to try to do a drop kick on Future. (laughs) (laughs) But because Miguel's so short, he was just kicked him in the ankle. You know what, Ryan? All right, law and order, baby. Law and order. Till death do us part Mm -mm. or until the money runs out. (laughs) We got two divorce cases. Yes. Okay. Let's start with Master P. Been married for 24 years. His wife, Sonia Miller, is filing for a divorce. They have five kids together. And Romeo is now an adult, so she wants um, full custody of their four minor children. Master P is worth $350 million. Who? Now, back in 2011, she actually filed for child support, but they weren't officially divorced then. But now they are going forward with it. And quickly, Timberland's wife, Monique also wants a divorce. Now, this is tricky. Tricky. They have a five-year-old daughter together, and they have a 10-year-old daughter by someone else, but she also wants child support for this 10-year-old child because she says that Timberland has claimed this child publicly and also privately, so she wants child support for both children. Yeah, mm-hmm. and they're saying that uh, Missy's not supporting uh, Monique in this divorce yeah. at all. They were saying, you know, she wants half of the money, and Missy was like, yeah, yeah. You think she's going to get that? <laughs> That's your Ryan Report. It's B103. Yes, yes. And if you don't know, now you know, you know, you know. The Ryan Report. The Ryan Report. Ryan Report. Z103. Z103.